you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. In this video, I'll give a short overview of the Comscope Ruckus Unleashed mobile app dashboard. In this demo, I'll be using an Android client. After launching the Unleashed mobile app, you would press on Manage Network. This brings you to the logon page, and we have a couple options here. We can use our admin and our password, or we can use social login. So in this example, I'm going to use my social media login since I've set that up, and I'll press on the Google Plus. And then I'll log in with my username. And from that point, I'll select a particular network. And I'll pass on this and say, got it, let's go. So we come to the main dashboard here. And as you can see, the first thing that we're looking at is our wireless LANs. And it shows that we have two of them. If I tap on my clients, you can see that we have eight clients. And if I tap on my switch, you'll see that we have one switch. And if I tap on my access points, then you see that we have three access points. Let's go through this app and just explain some of the features. In the upper left-hand corner, I have a little notification tab. And if I press on that, I'll see a list of notifications that I've received. I can go ahead and tap on one of those, and that'll bring up more details. And here we have the R510 Art Studio Mesh. And if I want to edit that, I could press on the pencil. That shows me that I could edit the AP. I could turn the 2.4 radio off or the 5 gigahertz radio off if I wanted to do that. I could also remove that AP, so I'll hit the back arrow. If I press on the next icon over, that allows me to reboot the device if I want to do that. I don't want to do that. I can hit the trash can for delete, or I can hit the arrows to refresh. And that'll do a refresh on this. If I scroll down, That'll give me more detailed on the traffic. And as you can see, there's a one hour and there's also a 24 hour version. So it can be one hour or 24 hours. So I'll tap the back arrow and I'll go back one more screen. So in the center, it lists the network that I have. And on the right, I have a little hamburger over there. If I press on that, that brings up system information. So I could select all AP radios. And here I could turn on on or off the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. So I'll go back. If I press on application recognition, so this will show me the applications that are running. And I can also press on the client tab. And that'll show me the clients that I have. And it shows me the proportion of it there. It also gives me the total transmit and receive. I could press on ports, and that'll give me the port information. And I could also do 24 hours. So I'll press on the applications, and if I press on 24 hours, that shows me the top applications that are running over a 24-hour period. If I hit the little curvy arrow in the upper right, that'll just do a refresh on that and reload the applications. Press back on the hamburger. If I press on mesh, this shows me that my mesh is enabled. It says disabling mesh is a very disruptive operation to avoid potential errors. Disabling mesh is not permitted. So we can't disable mesh. Then it gives me my mesh name and also zero touch. So in this case, zero touch mesh is enabled, which allows me to install APs that aren't connected to the ethernet and they will boot up and receive the configuration. All right, so we'll cancel on that. If I wanted to do an upgrade, I could tap on that. And it says in this case that your Unleashed is already on the latest firmware. If it wasn't, I would have the option to upgrade my Unleashed firmware on my APs. Under groups, I don't have any groups created right now, but I could name a group. I could create a group, and then I could select the APs, for example, that I wanted to go into that group. I could also select the WLANs that wanted, I wanted to put into that group, and I could also select the radio settings for that particular group. So maybe you have a corporate network and you have a guest network, and there's some limiting that you want to do on a guest network. You can go ahead and make those adjustments. So we'll go ahead and hit the back arrow on that. And under remote management, I could invite others for remote management. I could do troubleshooting. I could do speed flex. I could ping. I could trace. I could check for client connectivity, or I could share logs. And for settings, uh, I've got notification on, I've also got analytics on, and I can also rate the Unleashed app. If you like this app, you can go ahead and give us a rating for that. So let's take a look at some of the main functions here. So for example, we have two WLANs here. If I wanted to add a WLAN, I could press on the plus sign. I would select the type, and that could be standard, guest, 
with shared password, guest with shared service, WPA3, WPA2. We have separate videos on creating WLANs, but you can create WLANs on the mobile app. And if you go to the advanced feature, you can set your uplink rate limit. Right now it's disabled, but if I pressed on that, I could set a speed for that if I wanted to. You could set your downlink, you can enable or disable uh, radios, and you also have application recognition control on a specific WLAN. So may, there might be some WLANs you don't want to have application recognition on and others that you want to. Service schedule in this case is always on, it could be always off, or it could be a custom on that. And if I did custom, for example, then I might select when I want the hours that I want this WLAN to be operational. Okay, so we'll go back and we'll go back one more. If I tap on an existing WLAN, it'll give me information on that. And I can edit that by pressing on the pencil. I could change the password if I want to. I can go to my advanced tab and, and adjust parameters on that, such as my uplink and my downlink and my radios. I could delete that WLAN. I don't want to do that. I could disable that WLAN. I don't want to do that. Or I could delete it or I can refresh it. So we'll go back. If I tap on my clients, here I see a list of clients. If I want to get information on one particular client, I can tap on that. We'll tap on John's iPad. And if I want to edit that, I can create an alias. And I could name that alias. So we're going to call that John. And I'm going to save it. And it says, do you want to update this label at the network level? Sure. Let's go ahead and do that. I could mark that as a favorite. If I hit the star up there, it now marks that WLAN as a favorite. And I can tap on that again, and it takes it off, or I could hit the arrows for refresh. So I'll go back. So I can get information on those particular clients. If I press on my switch icon, you'll see that I have information about that switch, the uptime, the serial number, and the firmware. The firmware version is very important, and also the ports. It shows that there's four ports connected and 12 available, and it also gives me my PoE summary. If I wanted to edit that, I could give that switch an alias. I'm, I'm not going to do that, so I'll cancel on that. And I'll hit the back arrow. And then on my APs, this will give me a list of the APs that I have. And you'll notice that the R510 in the center is the master AP. It says it has a total of four clients on that. I can tap on that to get information about that AP. It gives me the uptime, the role, the serial number, firmware version, and it tells me the clients, and then I can go to the bottom of that, and it shows me the traffic, both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. I can look at that at one hour or 24 hours, and I can toggle back and forth on that. If I tap on the next symbol over, I could reboot it if I wanted to. I don't want to do that. I could delete that access point, or I can hit the refresh arrow on that. So we'll tap back. So this completes a short overview of the Comscope Ruckus Unleashed mobile app. As you can see, this is a powerful mobile app that allows you to monitor, configure, and troubleshoot your network, even if you're remote from anywhere in the world, as long as you have Wi-Fi access. Mm -hmm.